Our next WJTV hometown will be Natchez, so this week I decided to make a trip down there to see some cool things the city has to offer, including a Catholic church that is really amazing because of its history, and it's a basilica. All right, we're in Natchez, and Father Aaron, he's been someone I've known here, in, even in uh, Greenville, Mississippi, mm -hmm. so I've known you for a little while, but now you're at a church that is uh, very historic and very important in the state of Mississippi. So tell me about this place. So uh, this is St. Mary Basilica. It's the mother church of Mississippi Catholicism, which means that all of the Catholic churches in the state of Mississippi uh, would have come out of this church originally. Uh, it was built in 1846, originally as what's called a cathedral. Uh, so the bishop would have lived here. Uh, this actually is his cathedra, is his chair, it's where the word cathedral comes from. And uh, it maintained that status until the early 70s when the cathedral was moved to Jackson at St. Peter's in downtown now. Um, and at that point, a few years later, this church was elevated to the status of a Basilica, which means it's under the protection of the Pope himself, uh, which is a, a, an honorific title uh, nowadays, but it, it holds a lot of value uh, and, and a lot of respect and dignity in the church. Yeah, go a little deeper into that and what mm -hmm. that means uh, with regards to the Pope. So uh, there's, there's not a lot of basilicas around the world. So in Rome, there are four major basilicas. And then throughout the world, there are minor basilicas. Uh, there are places that if the Pope were to visit, uh, you know, for instance, if he came to Mississippi, Mississippi, uh, the Pope would go there because that's his church, particularly uh, in the way that a cathedral is a bishop's church. Um, so it's a great honor for Natchez to have that status, and there's some symbolism here in the church that actually points directly uh, to the status of this being a papal church. Um, and there, like I said, there's not many in the area. It's the only one in Mississippi. Yeah, so that, that I mean, that's really interesting when you say that, because we mm -hmm. were talking about this off camera, that if the Pope ever came to Mississippi, mm -hmm. which we're hoping he does, yeah. <laughs> uh, if yeah. the Pope ever came to Mississippi, this would be the place, this would be yeah. the place, this would mm -hmm. be the first place he'd go, he'd mm -hmm. talk to you, right? Yeah. And then mm -hmm. you guys would facilitate the rest where, of that visit. Right, yeah. the rest of that mm -hmm. visit. And, I, and does, for you to be the priest there, does mm -hmm. that, I mean, does that hold dear in your heart that, you know, that if the Pope <laughs> comes, he's talking to you? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a great status to, to, to be called the rector of the Basilica. That's really the, the title, okay. um, which has a little more responsibility than a pastor in a parish. Um, St. Mary's is also blessed to have a school, uh, so there's a lot of work with that as well, Cathedral School. Um, but I, so I feel very honored, uh, at my age especially, uh, to be able to be here at this great place. Yeah, some of these places, the artwork, Mm -hmm. It's just amazing, and you wonder how it kind of all gets here. You told mm -hmm. me that there was a really cool story on how some of the artwork got here. Yeah, so um, when the church was first built, uh, they described it as being a barn. It was just empty, and the church was bankrupt, and uh, the, the bishop had traveled the world to try to encourage donations, and actually the king of France had sent his painter here uh, to paint the altarpiece and, uh, and donated some more artwork that's still, in, it's actually in my house now. And, uh, but there were other things here in the area that were donated by uh, nobility in, in Spain, nobility in Italy, uh, and of course people here in Natchez as well donated a lot. Um, so we're really inheriting um, uh, a great piece of history, uh, really, for Mississippi at this place. And we're doing hometown in Natchez, and when you think about a place like this, and, you know, everyone has different religions in, in life, but you think about, mm -hmm. you know, how important for the Catholic faith mm -hmm. with regards that you have the King of France, you mm -hmm. have the Pope, if he comes to visit, it's mm -hmm. here. I mean, it, it's mm -hmm. really amazing when you really think about mm -hmm. it, and just here in Natchez, Mississippi. Here in Natchez, yeah. And I, I like to think about the fact that when this church was originally built, this was the most western Catholic church in the United States, you think, because the river was just a few blocks from here, right? And, and we were the closest that could have relations with the Archbishop of New Orleans, who at that time would have been in France, you know, technically. So there's, um, there's a great history in, in how that all came together. And for the people just in town, you know, what kind of like reception do you get just uh, walking through town? And I know that you probably get a bunch of tourists here that, again, may not mm -hmm. even be Catholic. They just mm -hmm. want to see this establishment. There's a, there's a lot of uh, boats that come to visit Natchez. So we have five different uh, uh, river boats and cruise ships that come during the year. Uh, within a month's time, we estimate about 1,000 tourists come through St. Mary's. Uh, many Western Europeans, you know, they're visiting the country and, and traveling from St. Louis to New Orleans on the river. Um, and it's always great just to see people's faces and, and to realize that this is just in the middle of a very small town, you know, really. And, and it's, it's the center of the city when you go through, and it, it really fills the, the, the skyline of Natchez. Father Aaron, thank you so much for letting us stop Thank you. By. Appreciate it.